In this video, I'll show you how to make some simple modifications to an Access 2010 database. I created this database by using the Contacts Web Database template, but the techniques I'll show you apply to all Access databases. One of the most common modifications people make to a database is to add a new field so that they can store a new piece of information about the people or things they're tracking in the database. For example, this database stores information about contacts, but it doesn't have a field for the person's birthday. I'll close the form that's currently open, and I'll open the navigation pane where I can see all the objects in the database. Contact information is stored in the contacts table, so I'll double-click it to open it. I could insert the new field anywhere in the datasheet, but I'll just scroll over to the right and click the down arrow next to the Click to Add label. This shows me a list of data types that I can use. For the birthday field, I'll choose date and time. Access creates the new column and selects the field name. I'll just type birthday for the field name. When I press Enter, Access moves to the next column and opens the data type drop-down list, but birthday is the only field I wanted to add, so I'll just click Save and then close the table. Now I want to add the new birthday field to the address book form. In this case, the title on the form does not match the actual object name. Uh, I know that contact card is the form that I want to change, so I'll right-click it in the navigation pane and then click Layout View. I'll close the navigation pane to make a little more room. If you don't see the field list, click Add Existing Fields on the Design tab. Here I can see my new birthday field. I want to put the birthday field just under the mobile phone field. All of the controls are contained in a layout grid, so I need to insert a new row into this grid. I want the new row to match the structure of the one above it, so I'll select one of the cells in that row, and now on the Arrange tab, I'll click Insert Below. Access adds the new row with the same cell layout as the one above it. Now I can just drag the new birthday field from the field list to the form, and I'll resize the row a bit. That's all I need to do, so I'll save and close the form. I'll also add the new field to the Contacts Datasheet form. Datasheets don't have a layout view, but you can just open them and modify them directly. I'll double-click the Contacts DS form and drag the field to the datasheet. Now I'll save and close the datasheet. Now I'll open the main form and close the navigation pane. Incidentally, the main form is a navigation form that enables you to switch between different forms and reports in the database. All the Access Web Database templates make use of this kind of form for basic navigation. Here's the new field on the address book form and on the data sheet. And remember, you can add fields to any Access database by using the steps in this video, whether you created the database by using a template or from scratch.